she decided she was going to put God first in her life. So, you know, one thing you can do when you wake up in the morning, even before you get out of bed, you can actually lie there and just go, Hi God, I'm here, thank you for being there. You can actually just talk to God first thing in the morning before you even lifted your head off the pillow. This is one incredible lady. You know, the uh, bus company in San Francisco now has a problem. Do you know what that problem is? Everybody wants to be on this lady's bus. Why? Because she really tries to take care of each and every person on that bus route as God's son or daughter. She said, I want to represent God's love. I want to live with God. I want God's love to flow through me. So do you know what she does? <coughs> when there's um, like an old lady coming on, she'll get out of her bus driver's seat, step down off the bus, help the lady with her groceries, get back on the bus, and sit in her seat. Isn't that incredible? So she, she just tries to take care. Now that old lady says, I don't get on any other bus. I wait for her bus to come, and then I go. And then there was a college student who used to get her bus too. And the college student, it was coming up to Thanksgiving, and the bus driver realized, wow, she's, she's maybe all alone. It's Thanksgiving. She's at college here. Does she have anywhere to go for Thanksgiving? So when the student got on the bus, she said, what are you going to be doing for Thanksgiving? And the student said, I don't know, because, you know, I live on the East Coast, and I don't know. I guess I'll do something. And the bus driver said, why don't you come and celebrate Thanksgiving with me and my family? We'd love to have you. Years later, they've kept in touch because actually this bus driver wasn't just a bus driver. She wanted to be someone who could give God's love to each and every person on the bus. At the end of a bus route, it's quite hilarious. They, the reason they wrote out this story in the San Francisco Chronicle was they said at the end of the bus route, it's not untypical for everyone on the bus when the bus pulls into its destination to burst into applause. Can you imagine? Because they so people feel God's love through her. Now just imagine, imagine you were, um, you know, maybe you're in your soccer club and you just work hard all the time to represent God's love in your soccer club. So it means that has to be translated into action. So you pick up all the balls, you make sure all the equipment's put away right, you make sure that everyone had enough water, you just really take care of everyone in the same way this bus driver took care of everyone on her bus. At the end of the year, what would they do? They'd maybe clap for you, right, too. That's what it means to bring God into everyday life. So we make the mistake of thinking, oh, well, okay, it's Sunday. I'll do God today. So we go to church, we survive church, we come home and we go, thank God that's over, now I can get back to the rest of my life. <laughs> but that's not living with God. That's not living with God the way Jesus did, it's not living with God the way true parents do, it's not living with God the way saints and sages do. That's just like compartmentalizing God. Maybe you studied in social studies or American history. Have you heard of separation of church and state? Right? Have you heard of that concept? Where the state can't do anything that's too godlike because we have to, you know, separate our politics and God, right? But we do exactly the same thing in our own lives because we put God over here with anything to do with the church and then we live our lives over here. So in one sense, we have a double life. We don't know how to bring God into our real life. And that's what I love about this story, because this bus driver is a true story. She figured out how to bring God into her everyday life. Would you like to know how to do that for you? That's a good question, right? So, to help us with that, I have a little activity. Can you skip the paper plates on the over there? Could you um, give out a paper plate to everyone in the room? And what I want you to do, take your paper plate and draw on it like this. So there's a little circle in the middle and there are spokes out to the side, right? So I want you to make that design on your paper plate. And when you've done that, I'm going to share what it is that we're going to do. So 
just uh, advise you to play it out like this.